Today I'm going to show you how to use Open Site Explorer to learn from your competition. I'm Sarah Kornack from the Brilliant Business Moms podcast. First, in your browser, go ahead and type in opensiteexplorer.org and it'll bring you to the homepage. They have a brief video to see how it works, so you might want to check that out. It was short and sweet. Today we're going to look at one of my favorite blogs lately, Modern Mrs. Darcy. You get three searches a day, so use them wisely. And if you want a paid subscription to OpenSight Explorer, it's $99 a month. So far, everything I have done has been through their free version, but they do give you more metrics if you sign up for the paid version. Okay. So the first you'll see is their ranking for domain authority and page authority. You can compare yourself if you look here. Comparing yourself for domain and page authority, that doesn't count as part of your three free searches. So if you have competitors that you know of, type them in and compare yourself to them as far as domain authority and page authority and see where they stand. I'll type in a website that's completely unrelated just so you can see how that that works we'll type in money saving mom and compare even though they're completely different sites so it's not really a fair comparison but you can see our original site we're looking at modern mrs. Darcy they give her a page authority so specific pages on her website page authority of 50 money saving mom is 67 now down here, the last one is domain authority. So her entire domain, her entire site, they're ranking her at 41 compared to Money Saving Mom at 68. Now obviously they are two completely different websites, so not really a fair comparison. I just wanted to show you that feature. Okay, so back to the task at hand. On one of the tabs, you'll see inbound links. So we're trying to kind of spy on our competition. If we had another site similar to Modern Mrs. Darcy that was about books and reading and book lists, this is how we would kind of spy on them. Not spy. This is all very legitimate. But just to see where they're posting, where they're guest posting, where they're commenting, and see if those are opportunities for you to pursue. Where they might be a resource, where they have joined in on a forum discussion, and create new ways for you to comment and guest post and reach that audience as well. Listen to my full podcast episode on Brilliant Business Moms on Open Site Explorer so that you can get a better idea of the information that you can glean. But this is just showing you how to use Open Site Explorer. So on the inbound links, do filter it first. Do show all from only external to pages on this entire root domain and then press filter okay so what's going to come up are places where links that are linking back to modern mrs. Darcy from all over the web and these could be for various different reasons so here this particular website it looks like they put a link to the modern mrs darcy summer reading guide which i have heard is fantastic so that's a blog that if modern mrs darcy knew that about that link she could foster that relationship and keep working on that relationship with that other website. You'll see Mark's Daily Apple. That's a place where she comments on, but it's not necessarily um, a site within her niche. Then you'll see other places where she is maybe a regular contributor. I believe this website, when I looked at it, she was a regular contributor there. If you had a, if you were a homeschooling mom, Maybe that would be a site where you could think about contributing or guest posting. So basically, you can just go through and find out 
if Modern Mrs. Darcy was your competition, find out other sites that are linking to her, her site on the web, and see if you can, if those sites fit your niche, if there's an opportunity for you there to increase your audience as well. So that's basically a huge tool that's important from Open Site Explorer. The inbound links, only external pages on this root domain, and the just going through and seeing who is linking there and determining whether that would be a good fit for you or not to increase your readership. All right, that was short and sweet. That's all I've got for you today. Go to brilliantbusinessmoms.com, listen to the podcast episode on Open Site Explorer to get a little bit more background on why this information could be helpful for you. Thanks.